Doug Feinberg, we'll start with you. Go ahead. Coach, nice win. Thank you. Thank you. It's a, I'm guessing a pretty good looking stat sheet you're looking at right there. It's really pretty, isn't it? <laughs> Just talk, I mean, you guys were able to probably run a tired team into the ground. Just talk about the game that Courtney had and Kennedy had and, and glory off the bench for you. Yeah, I mean, I think it was really balanced. I mean, when you have five players in double figures and, and uh, you know, really everyone that played until, you know, that last minute gave us something, you know, Strix two big threes in a row, you know, to kind of open up uh, the lead there in the fourth quarter were, I thought, huge. So, you know, Courtney's a good jump shooter. Um, and, you know, when she got herself to 15 feet tonight, she was really good. The only one she missed were kind of those long, really long twos. Um, so good job by her. I thought Kennedy, when Kennedy didn't settle for the long two, she was impossible to guard. When she got to the rim and put foul pressure on them, either getting to the line or scoring at the rim, um, you know, I think when you're trying to shoot jump shots over 6'7 um, from 19, not a good shot. So, I mean, I thought those two, um, you know, when they played to their strength, Courtney to her jump shot and getting to 15 to 17 feet, and Kennedy all the way to the rim uh, were really good. And I thought, you know, Glory, you know, making threes tonight, it, it just helps. It helps create spacing for everybody else. I mean, there, there was a, I mean, obviously offensively, everyone was good, but Nyjah gave us a lift early. Um, happy for Benajah. You know, that's a team that cut her. Um, and, and I know that means a little bit more to her. Mike Patton, go ahead. Uh, Mike Patton, the three-point conversion. I uh, just wanted to ask, what lessons uh, would you say that you all learned from uh, the Sparks game into this game? Open up the lead so it's not close late. I mean, <laughs> you know, I, I, think, I think, you know, when we were um, a couple times we got up eight and then fouled and didn't, off, didn't rebound. I mean, this is a team that McGowan's hard to keep off the glass. Um, and you got to work like heck to battle her on the boards. But, you know, I mean, that was what was keeping them in the game. Second chance points um, and McGowan around the rim. And, you know, we, we separated. We kept putting downhill pressure on them in transition by setting good screens, by separating on, on our screens. When we touch the paint, we're a good offensive team. And we've been a pretty good offensive team actually all year where we've had struggles is defensively. You get in tight games against good players and they isolate you and, and you know, playing without fouling, that's obviously still something we've got to do a better job of. Um, but, I, but I think, um, you know, we're, we're just battling. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a team I've said it before and, and I know I'm always going to get judged by total wins and losses. Um, but in a shortened season when, you know, you've got three players that are coming back from COVID and one that, you know, has a bone chip off her ankle partway through the season and misses six games. Like, you know, I know a lot of teams have, have had adversity here, um, but, you know, it's it's hard to put it all together when you start short three players and then, you know, are trying to build up to this point. And, you know, I, I, I'm proud of this group for continuing to battle and continuing to get better. And we still have to get better defensively and we still have the defensive rebound and not foul. Um, but I think we're starting to understand um, where to get Courtney the ball and, you know, Kennedy knows where she can score and, you know, so, you know, we're starting to move the pieces around and do a pretty good job. Thank you. Any more questions? Uh, Doug Feinberg, we'll go back to you. Go ahead, Doug. Nikki, how do you build off this? I mean, you guys are still mathematically in the hunt to maybe make the playoffs. So how do you build on this for the rest of the, the regular season? Yeah, one game at a time. You know, I want somebody else to knock us out, not us eliminate ourselves, you know? So, you know, we talked about it tonight. Like, we're not mathematically eliminated. And even if there comes a point when we are, like, we want to take the momentum of this season into next. And so, um, you know, I just, I think that, you know, we may have to win every game, but I just firmly believe we're capable, you know? I just, that's, so we've got to take one game at a time. You know, not worry about what anybody else does, you know, take care of our business, continue to scout our opponents, continue to, you know, find ways to get Courtney the ball where she needs it and get Benajah the ball where she needs it. And, you know, when we take care of the basketball and we don't have needless turnovers, um, you know, we get good shots and we've got good offensive players. So, you know, we've just got to take one day at a time, one game at a time. Um, but we're not ruling anything out. You know, I told them before the game, if there's anybody that's ready, you know, that's counting down the days till we leave, like, let me know because I'll play someone who isn't counting the days because, 
Um, that's just not the way I view it. And I don't think it's how we played tonight, which is, you know, a good indication of, um, you know, that we've got a group of players that are going to keep figuring it out. Edwin Powell, go ahead. Good win tonight, Coach. Um, your backcourt played exceptionally well tonight. Uh, I wanted to ask you about Glory. Um, on the on the games where she's really active and she's really had a game like she did tonight, what is the difference tonight as opposed to another game where she's just kind of average? What do you see the difference is? I mean, you already said it. You started with the – she's active, you know. Um, you know, and I, I don't know – you know, I know that's that's my job, but I'm asking her for the same things every game. I'm asking her to run the floor, um, you know, to jump out there and be aggressive defensively, to use her athleticism, because I think when she starts to play with that activity level, then she makes threes. When all she does is stand on the perimeter and look to shoot threes, you know, it, it's, it's not been good for her, you know, but when she's active and she's on the glass and she's active defensively and she's talking and she's rotating. I mean, we had some defensive possessions late in the second quarter where we were flying around, you know, and it was just a beautiful thing. I mean, if you're certainly there's people that are offensive minded coaches and, but you know, when, when you're, when you like defense and you saw us flying around and covering each other, I mean, that's a beautiful thing. And so, you know, I mean, you know, I leave her out there when I see that activity level, you know, I mean, because she does make a difference. She does stretch to the arc. Um, but I think when her first shot's a three, um, you know, that's not necessarily like she's got to get the ball and get it going to the rim and, and creating and touching the paint like everybody else and then playing out. So, um, you know, it's that combination of she, she's skilled, but she's still got to use her athleticism, you know, and, and use her bounce around the rim and make plays. All right, thanks, Coach. Welcome. And Mike Patton, we'll start with you. Go ahead, Mike. Mike Patton, the three-point conversion. Um, I noticed you were, were much more aggressive tonight. Uh, was it something you were seeing from the defense or just uh, an excited effort on your behalf just to get more involved and active in this game? Really just trying to have the confidence and figure out how I can help my team. Knowing that I can't just settle for the three, but if they keep leaving me open, then I feel like I have to have the confidence to knock it down. Thank you. Doug Feinberg, go ahead. Gloria, to piggyback off that, C Coach said a couple about a week ago that I think there was one game where you attacked the basket really well, and she said that you were still recovering from the COVID a little bit as far as being that aggressive. That's something you think for the rest of the season you can do to help this team win more is just keep being aggressive going to the basket more? For sure. I think that's uh, – it's always been a strength of mine to drive to the basket and penetrate. You know, even if I'm penetrating and I'm kicking, uh, that's always been something that I've been capable of. You know, after being with the team, practicing a little bit more, I wish I had more time. I wish I wasn't out as long as I was out. But, you know, just finding myself within the team and not trying to force things, you know, just reading my teammates and, you know, driving to the basket and not being tired, running up and down so many times. That's what it is. Where, where do you think you are as far as your physical recovery from the COVID? I mean, obviously you're, you're better, but are you back to like 90% of what you were before this all hit you or some other number? I'd say that I'm about 90%. You know, it was hard because, you know, we were quarantined at home with our families and then we left. Uh, we did a little bit of training one-on-one -on -one with, uh, you know, Atlanta in Atlanta. But then when we got here, it was like I was in quarantine all over again for three weeks. So it was like I couldn't do any type of exercise. And that probably hurt us, you know, the most that for me because I couldn't get my heart rate up for three weeks. And then I got thrown back into the season, you know. And it's like you got to be game ready. And from not working out at all to being to be game ready, kind of tough. Thanks, Lori. No problem. And Edwin Powell, last question. Congrats on the win, uh, Glory. It, you guys have, have lost uh, several games that were kind of close down to the wire. Was there a conceded effort to really close this game out? You guys scored 34 points in the fourth quarter. I think we were just focusing on closing out a game and how important it is. I know that, you know, we're still figuring things out uh, as we go. But there have been a couple of times when we've been up on teams and we let the lead go. And, and you know, there's a lot of teams that are fourth quarter teams. And our strength wasn't that. You know, we, we weren't as good as stopping people from making runs rather than making a run and, and sticking with it. So I think this was a game that, you know, the coach was challenging us to play the game completely out and, you know, finish the game strong, just 
You know, it's not just about how you start, it's how you finish. And I think that was the concentration on finishing the game. Great, thanks, Lori. Mike Patton, we'll start with you. Go ahead, Mike. And the three-point conversion. Uh, obviously, of course, the win was uh, great for the night, but what did you see that was different about your team tonight compared to the last game? I think everyone just came out and played with confidence. Everyone played together. We found each other, moved the ball, and we just played. We made the game really easy tonight. So that was a big thing. Those threes, they were dropping from strict and glow, and I was like, keep running it, keep doing it, keep doing y'all thing, because I really want them to get confidence and believe in themselves. So I'm proud of them tonight. Uh, what can you say about the uh, the difference when uh, Glory is more aggressive? I mean, Glow makes a big difference when she touches the court, period, just by how her force. When she runs the floor, rebounds, her drives to the rim. I mean, it's it's crazy as a four player how much, you know, growth she's had, she's had this season and what she brings to the table each game. So I tell Glow every – Every time the game's going to start, rip, drive, get in your rhythm and find your shot. And she went out there tonight and did her thing. Thank you. Doug Feinberg, go ahead. Hey, Kennedy. Glory was saying she was kind of wished the season had more time than just another week and a half because you guys are kind of hitting your stride right now and you're obviously back from the ankle injury. Would you say you're getting back to where you were before you got hurt as far as your explosiveness goes? I think I'm getting better. Uh, with the injury and just with everything, it's making me work harder, 10 times harder than I've ever worked before. And with these circumstances, we only have a little bit of time to practice with each other. So it is difficult, but I'm making sure I do the right thing, staying after practice hours, making sure I'm getting my shots up. And I'm just working with my teammates, man. We're trying to find a groove and really get in a rhythm. Was tonight really an example of how explosive you guys can be on offense when threes are falling and jump shots are hitting and you're, you guys are running the floor? I think tonight showed really how we can score on all cylinders. Everybody brings something to the table from our shooters to our scorers, our rebounders, our post players even had a good game. They played great defense on T and then came back and gave us something on offense. So I think we just played well collectively tonight. I think everybody brought something different to the table. It wasn't just scoring, it was just a team effort. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Gary Thomas, go ahead. Congratulations again on the win, Kennedy. Thank you. Is there one thing that stood out in tonight's win? Um, the biggest thing to me is how we just played selfless. I mean, we shared the ball and we gave it up. Sometimes I felt like people gave up their own shot when they were wide open. So I think just together tonight, we really did it. And it was breast cancer uh, awareness game. So that was really another reason why we wanted to come out and play hard, get another opportunity to wear those jerseys and you know, fight for those who you know are going through the uh, struggle. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, thanks, Ken. Thank you.